our next project will be creating a peacock. As you can see, there's a lot of layered feathers happening, and the majority of it is just basic shapes. Start by writing your name and teacher code on the back. You'll start with a medium to small size circle or lid. You're going to put it, oh, probably approximately a rusted palm's width from the top of your paper and lightly, lightly trace because you're gonna do some erasing. Near where the front of the face is going to be, you're going to make a wide letter V. So very, very wide for the back of the beak, right here. Okay. And then we're going to make a skinny, skinny V for the beak. Lightly draw once again so you can erase and then get rid of that circle line. From this point to this point, draw a line for your beak. Then you're gonna add your neck. So you're gonna find about the back of the head and make a nice, curved line, just slightly curved for the neck, and then you're going to add one under his chin, or about where his chin would end, and add a line there for the rest of the neck. And then go ahead and erase that circle line. Then we're going to add an eye about here. You're going to start by making a circle, and then you're going to put two letter V's on either side of it to make that kind of peacock eye. Next you're going to add the fan on the peacock's head. So you're just going to draw a line and a circle. Your choice as to how many, probably four, five, or six would be a good, good spot to be. Use your best judgment. And then do keep in mind that you can add more detail in your eye. So all I did is add a line on either side and a little circle here to keep white for the highlight. Next, we're going to start adding the feathers. You can use a stencil to help you in this shape or you may draw your own. I like to start near the bottom and work my way gradually upward. Keep in mind you need to stop and start your pencil so that you're creating the overlapping effect. So if I want to create some overlapping, I will not trace inside this feather I already have here. So you decide the, the best way to make this work for you. And you're going to fill all the way up your paper. So freehand your feathers or you can use the stencil. All right, now that I've got my feathers all on my peacock, I'm going to add some of the feather detail to it. So that, I mean, the, the eye appearance and then the little lines for the feather. So kind of randomly add those. They don't need to be in every single one, but I would certainly add more lines in every single one, so. And all you're doing is making a circle Probably that can fit about two fingers in it and a little bit smaller circle and then kind of a half circle right there which this would be darkened in right there and then you're adding a line and some kind of wispy lines going up just a few on each side so go ahead and add some lines and some eyes on your feathers like I said not everyone just randomly space them out nicely. When your pencil part is complete and you're not doing any more erasing, grab a black marker and start tracing. There are only a few areas that you're going to be actually coloring in black and that would be the eye if you choose. Remember the white spot, the highlight that we talked about leaving. If you want to add eyelashes, you can. And then the eye on each of these should be blackened in. So it should look kind of like an eye looking upward. So go ahead and trace every single line very, very carefully. Once you're done adding all your outlining, you may want to take a big eraser and go back and erase some of the very obvious pencil lines. 
brush that off. And you're gonna need crayons to color it in. We're going to color very dark with the crayons. Make sure, I'll zoom in here, that you're pushing down so that you cannot see white space. You can use multiple colors next to each other. So if you wanted to grab maybe a yellow and you could overlap on this. But make sure you're coloring very, very dark. When you are complete, you should have no white space besides the eye right there. It's the only white space we should have left. So if your fingers aren't a little bit tired, you're probably not pushing hard enough. I do not want to see any of this. White space is in there. Go back. If you do it correctly the first time, then we don't have to worry about going back again and creating more work for ourselves. So really take your time, do an excellent job coloring. You may choose any colors you would like to color in your peacock.